sign friends welcome to my sign room my name is Beth and if you're new welcome today I'm making a small doll quilt using the tiniest squares that I usually will go to I don't usually get smaller than one and a half inches or finished one inch so to make my little doll quilt I'm using some six inch squares These four squares I have here, here will make one block. I need four blocks for my doll quilt. I have one white square, one light green, and two dark blue. So I am going to be drawing lines one and a half inches from the edge, then at one and a half inch increments, so there will be one and a half, three inch, and then four and a half inches. Once I have my lines on the back of my fabric, I have my two squares right sides together, I will be sewing a quarter inch away from both of my outside lines. That inside line in the middle there is just a cutting line. Trying to do some chain piecing here with my squares. I have a new to me machine I'm using today. I'm having some fun with a new featherweight that I purchased. So I have a new friend here in my sewing room. Here she is, a really sweet little featherweight machine that seems to be in great condition. I took her to the sewing shop and had it tuned up a little bit and just sewing just fine. So after I have four seams in on either side of those two outside pencil lines, I'm going to cut along all three pencil lines. After getting all of my strip sets pressed and with the white ones I pressed to the darker side, I put them two like pieces together uh, with the dark on opposite sides and I'll be drawing again lines one and a half, three inches and four and a half inches on the back of one of these so that I can again sew on either side of my two outside lines. After getting all of my seams in there, I cut along my pencil line again and I was able to get all of these little four patches that I will, in just a minute, I'll put them all together to make my first quilt block. Here's how I laid out my quilt block. I put white squares through the center and then white squares on the um, two outside edges. I just kind of did every other one and I tried to make sure that my white squares are all going in the same direction. And of course, the same went for the, the light green fabric. And once I 
sewed it all together. I had my first of uh, four quilt blocks that I'm making for this cute little doll quilt. With all of these little four patches, of course, you would not need to arrange them like I'm doing. You could make them all and mix them all up. And the other thing I wanted to mention was I'm using six inch squares and I just divided six into four. That's how I got one and a half, three and four and a half. If you use a 10 inch square, just divide 10 by four and make three lines, two and a half, five inches and seven and a half inches and you can make the same block just it would be just a little bit bigger I'm making my little quilt here into a doll quilt for one of the grandchildren. I used a piece of flannel for the backing. I put right sides together. I sewed all the way around except I left an opening. I'll be turning this right side out. After pressing my little doll quilt and making sure it's nice and smooth, I also pressed in the edges of that opening I have there and then I top stitched all the way around this little quilt. 
This is such a pretty little quilt. I like using tiny pieces when I'm making something small like this. I just think it's proportionally it's kind of nice. So I would encourage you to try out some tiny pieces and using squares like I did today is kind of a fun way to do it. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.